so friends in our mu class 4 orals there are questions asked on the topic of construction of sounding pipe and construction of air vent pipe so friend this is a basic topic but many of us fail to answer and because of which our safety is not cleared by the surveyor so first i will brief you about sounding pipe and air vent pipe then i will go towards the construction part so air pipes allow an enclosed space to breathe they prevent over or under pressure by letting air in or out of the space when liquid is pumped in or out or when temperature changes cause air or fluids to expand or contract cargo holds are ventilated by air pipes passing through the weather deck and these are fitted with self closing water tight covers so this is a low time requirement for cargo holds so now moving towards our sounding pipes sounding pipes are small bore mild steel pipes used to measure the quantity of fluid in a tank or a holding bin the pipe allows a tape or sounding rod to pass through to the bottom of a tank or hold deck sounding pipes pass through the weather deck and are fitted with screw down caps sounding pipes for engine room double bottom tanks are fitted with self closing cocks so friends we are aware about both air pipes and the sounding pipes so sounding pipes are used to check the fuel quantity in the tank by using a sounding tape and both that sounding pipes are different for the deck it is different and for the double bottom tank it's different so for decks we are using screw down caps and for double bottom tanks we are using a self closing cocks with a cap so friends now moving towards our construction part so friends this is a self closing cock which is fitted on the double bottom tank sounding pipe so friends you would have seen this in your engine room so this is for giving you a basic idea how it looks like so now moving towards our construction part of a sounding tank on our deck so this is a sounding pipe which we use to take sounding with the help of sounding tape on deck so at the bottom you can see there is a striker or a template and this method is known as a alleg method with the help of which we take how much fluid is inside the tank so for double bottom tanks we are having a different sounding pipe arrangement so for that i have made an rough diagram so you can see there is a self closing linkage at the top of the sounding pipe and rest all the construction is the same with a striker plate at bottom and a sounding pipe now moving towards some detail of construction of sounding pipe so i have attached one slide in which i have given you what to tell to the surveyor when the question is asked so these are the key points which i have written so striker plate for sounding pipe should be placed at the bottom of every pipe to let the sounding bob strike on it and it is made up of brass so that static charge may not develop so as per safety this striker plate is very much important because whenever you take the sounding from the sounding pipe with the help of a sounding tape so there is a bob which may strike at the bottom of the tank and which can lead to some static charge generation so to damp that static charge we use this striker plate at the bottom so sounding pipe placed as close as possible to suction for correct reading so this sounding pipe is placed near by the suction because if it is nearby so we can take correct reading of the tank sounding pipe dia should not be less than 32 mm in general so this is the most important point for the double bottom tank safety so counterweight and self closing linkage is the different names of a single part so if it's double bottom tank this way it helps to save from flooding if any accident and double bottom tank gets damaged this weight will seal the pipe even if sounding pipe cap is not there or someone forgot to put it back so now moving towards our last point if the pipe passes through the refer then insulation is provided around it and minimum dia should be 65 mm at 0 degree centigrade or less so the proper insulation is provided whenever the sounding pipe is passing through a refer room so this is what we have to tell whenever we are asked about the construction of sounding pipe now moving towards our construction of air vent pipe so this is also an important question asked in our mu class for safety orals so sometimes this question is asked as a regulation for the air vent pipe so the regulation is that the dia of the air vent pipe should be 15% of the dia of inlet pipe 
so this inlet pipe is the filling pipe of the tank from which the fluid goes in fluid or the fuel oil goes in so this vent pipe is also having non return flap valve and a flame screen as a safety so this is what you have to tell to the surveyor whenever these questions are asked about the sounding pipe and air vent pipe so friends please like and share the video and subscribe the channel marine helpport and please go through the channel once to get more accepted answers about the functions of the mu class 4 orals